Welcome back to the Webbing O'Neill channel. Thanks for joining us for another video. Ten Hag says he's good, he's not good enough. We have to do better every day. Was it good last year? Was it good under Solskjaer? Yeah, it was good, but it was never good enough. Other teams have gone further ahead. Your Liverpool, your Man City, for instance. Yes, there's good players there now. It's changed and it's exciting, but is it good enough? That 11, what started against Arsenal, was very good, but it's not the standard what Manchester United what we want to achieve. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Hell of a lot better than what it was over the last few years. And the players, what have suffered, are there now. And hopefully, they might even be introduced for the Europa League. While these good players get the rest they deserve because they've been absolutely on top form. Yeah, even though we've had four straight wins, um, it's not all been pretty. We have had to win ugly in, in certain, certain games. But what do you think is the biggest area of the team that he has to improve? The forward line, uh, at the moment, the complete change at the back is fine. We're steady. We're not conceding the goals as we were. The forward line, it's not settled. Yes, Anthony's just come in. That's going to take time. You've got the problems with uh, Rashford. You've got the problems with Ronaldo. Who's centre forward, who's not? Is that his role? Is he a winger anymore, Rashford? I don't know. But we need the forward line changing. It's not going to change but it's working well at the moment. We're getting through games. We're managing 90 minutes football. They all know what they're doing. Unlike in previous years for 90 minutes, it was a game of two halves often. Do you know what I mean? Whereas now, the tactics are fine. They all understand the role in the team. Bruno Fernandes, he's come in as captain last four games. Seen a big improvement in results, running stats. He has improved along with McTominay like you wouldn't believe because they're being coached by a manager. And you can all see that. Do you see any similarities in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in terms of when he does go 1-0 up, he's quite happy for his team to defend and break away on the counter-attack? I, I think it's completely different. I think they actually work at defending, work right through the game, and they have the understanding of how to manage the game. I think sometimes under Mourinho, they couldn't manage the game. They were just getting through it because of like they were running or they were just tackling. There wasn't a full understanding of the 90 minutes game. Under Solskjaer, it was always either 45 minutes, one half, 45 minutes, the second half. This is a totally different. They all working together as a team for 90 minutes and everyone has got an understanding of the tactics and the roles they play and manage throughout the 90 minutes. I think this is great football, mate. Big improvement is obviously the back four, the goalkeeper. Two clean sheets in there in the last four games, Varane and Martinez. How far do you think it can go for them two to be you know, a top, top Premier League uh, partnership? I think this could be an outstanding partnership, one of the best in the Premier League, especially this year. The only problem I've got with it is Varane with his injuries. Will that break down? Will it last long, this partnership? But with Eric Ten Hag, he'll always improve on what he's got. He'll always look for, to bring other people in. So Varane and Martinez at the moment, it's working well. I'm only hoping it will prosper as time goes on because these two, at the moment, are the driving force in this team, what's making everyone else comfortable in front of them. You're wrong, it's only earlier on in the Premier League season, but can you imagine sitting here at the end of the season? Who would you think would be the most improved player? I know we've got to get the crystal ball out, but looking at it, you've seen Scott McTominay, especially in these last three or four games, seems to be improving under this manager. Is he going to be one of them up there where it could be, you know, most improved. Yeah. I think it's down to three. I've always had my doubts. I've been a very big critic of Rashford. Bruno, I've been a critic of him uh, with his game management and his antics. But at the end of the day, you've got to look at Scott McTominay. I think it's between them three. This manager is actually improving the three of them. And who will flourish the most? At the end of the season, we'll find out. But them three players are the ones he is tactically getting it right and improving their performances. And we can all see it. But that's what he was brought in for. And we did all say in pre-season, this manager's been brought in to train and give tactical advice and improve these players. And he's doing it. Going into the game on Thursday against Real Sociedad. I expect big changes, me, Tony. What do you think? Oh, well, I'll tell you what now. The back four, in my opinion, will be Shaw, Maguire, Lindelof and wan -Bissaka. That's just for starters. And this is what he's got to do with it. I don't know like what you think about that, whether he will go that big. 
but I think he will make changes. He might even make nine changes, in my opinion, to give the other players a rest for the Crystal Palace game. And this Europa League at the moment, I think, has to be used like that to give other players a chance to show that they're not falling behind and that they can improve. Got Ronaldo there. You know, how does he handle that situation? You know, whether to play Champions League football, does he then go and get, a, well, his first start since Brentford game in the Europa League? When you've seen Ronaldo sat on the bench and the team are scoring goals, even before the games have kicked off and you're seeing them warm up at Old Trafford, a lot that the media out there don't show is Gene up the rest of the players who are starting them games. I, th I think where, where Ronaldo wanted to go out, listen, He's here now. He's accepted what he is. He's part of the squad. He's part of the team. And like you say, he's geeing up the players. Media aren't spotlighting it proper, but he's there and he accepts his situation. Me, he'll start against Real Sociedad without a shadow of a doubt. So in centre-back, you're going with Maguire and Lindelof? I'm going with them. They're the old school. They need to come in in case there's any injuries, what we've got. In the midfield? Midfield, Casemiro will start. Uh, Donny van der Beek should start. I think Donny van der Beek might play the role behind the attackers, to be honest with you. Good shout. Listen, let us know what you think. Get your comments in on today's video. Smash a like if you like our content and press that notification bell because we will be back on Thursday after the game with the match reaction. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.